Good afternoon, everybody. We are live today on this beautiful, sunny, hot, humid, and kind of muggy and a little bit disgusting Monday afternoon. Thank you for joining me. My name is Adam Fox. I am one of the free virtual bodyweight exercise program instructors that here is Connected Community Health Support. Other, the other two uh, instructors are Seth Spicer and Jacob Carroll. They do the 7.30 in the morning. Seth Spicer and Jacob Carroll does the 12 in the afternoon. And yours truly, myself, does the 5.30 in the afternoon for all you people just getting out of work. So, like I said, we're here offering free virtual bodyweight exercise programming three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, my apologies. Just got to readjust this just a little bit. There we go. Also, my, my, uh, my cat Pip will be joining us today. She's found a nice little comfy spot right in the middle of the living room like usual. So she'll be she'll be with us for at least a, a little bit until she decides to jump off. But thank you for joining me. As I already said, you know, the whole reason we're doing this, we want to eliminate all those barriers to exercise, whether it be not having money for a gym membership, not having the transportation, um, not having the desire to go to a gym because you don't like because you don't like gyms and the stigmas and uh, you know stereotypes that can be kind of attenuated or um, you know, shown and uh, developed at a gym, so to speak. So thank you guys for joining me. Um, today is week 12, day number 34. We've already made it three months. I'm not good at math, but four times three. We've made it 12 weeks, a whole three months already. So glad you guys are with us. Glad you guys are sticking around. Today's exercise is going to be a little bit of a deload. So last week we did the 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. This week we will now be doing 30 seconds of rest, 30 seconds of work, uh, which will be going up next week. We actually might have uh, something different in store for you. We'll figure that out throughout the week and we'll get back to you guys. Um, I do have to also say that if you are watching this on Tuesday or Wednesday, um, this is a restream and Wednesday I will be restreaming uh, this stream because we have business meetings on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So I will not be able to do the stream on Wednesday at my usual time, but I will post this stream again so you guys can see my beautiful face saying the same words on Monday and Wednesday, so two days for you guys. We apologize for that, but you know, business has to come first, so gonna, we actually have some really uh, important, cool, exciting stuff we're gonna be doing. We're doing a commercial for the Restream uh, Passion Fund. Uh, it's a little, little, we're making a commercial. We're gonna put it up, and the people are gonna vote on, on which commercial they, they believe is the best, and there are a, a couple different winners. I think it's a $10,000 winner, it's 10 of those, uh, some $25,000 winners, um, as well as 50 and I believe there's a two hundred fifty thousand dollar winner. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I know there are a couple different winners. So when we put once we get that uh, up and running, we'd love you guys to go vote for us on Restream.com. The dot I should say it really mean a lot to us. We really, tr really could really use this money to benefit our uh, our brand and you guys a lot. So just keep that in mind. That will be we'll put more about that on our social medias and whatnot. But speaking of social media, we, we will now be posting six times a week, not three. Now four or five, but six, six times a week. So look forward to that with our different pillars of health and wellness that we will be posting about. So enough of me talking about that. Today's workout, like I said, 30 on, 30 off, 30 seconds. That is six sets, just like last week. Eight exercises, one through eight, running through six different times. Five minute warm up and a four minute cool down. Want to give you guys a little bit more time to warm up because I think that's one of the most of the workout just getting the body right before you get right into all the movement that we're gonna be doing. So, without further ado, I'm gonna get going. Remember, this is a 52 week progressive program, so if you guys want any modifications, let me know, shoot, shoot them in the chat, and I'll it for you. So, let's get started here. First thing we're gonna do is, oh, that pepper got to move, baby. That didn't last very long. All right, it is about degrees out here in Saratoga, or Saratoga, yeah. Troy, so I'm gonna have this fan on me at full blast the entire time. Hopefully it's not too disrupting with the noise. The first thing we're gonna do is nice hip openers, just like usual, not changing it up too much for you. We're just doing it, bringing the hip open and closing it. And bring the hip open, bring the knee up, foot over, and then close it back. Oh, keep on doing that, gonna make sure the chat is on here. Make sure I'm in the chat, there we go. All right, if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, please, I love talking with you. I love going back and forth, so please comment in. This is one of my favorite parts of doing this is I get to talk to you beautiful people. I get to interact with you, see how your day is going, see where you're from. Because you know, like I said, we are trying to build a community here, making everyone happier and healthier one day at a time. All right. Now we're going to do some leg swings. going to be a one different variation 
uh, of a lower body warm-up that I have for you today because I just want to see uh, I don't want to see how it looks because obviously I can't see you guys, but uh, I want to see how you guys like it. It's a little bit more of a quad dominant warm up because we do have a lot of quad uh, quad dominant movements today. So now we're going to switch to the other side. And remember, always have your friend, Mr. Wall, next to you just for some added stability. Just to make it a little bit easier on you so you're not having any potential of falling and injuring yourself. This up on the way. Indeed it is. I'm already sweating. I'm really doing well. All right, moving on to the T-spine rotation. So now from here, we're going to bring you on behind you as far as you can without moving those hips like so, and then bring it back. Bring it over and back, over and back. Remember, try to keep my, my hands are just about even with my chest. So bring them out and bring them back just like so. Bring them back. Do a couple more on each side. One side might be a little less restricted than the other. When I mean restricted, I don't want to say tight. It's tight means insinuates that the muscle is shorter. And your muscles usually, unless you have surgery or some type, are not shorter. They're just a little bit restricted. So try to get that on as far back as you can. As you can see, my right goes a little, uh, not as far as my left. That's okay. Moving on to the neck circles now. I want you guys to get some good, good, good old fashioned neck circles. Go left to right, clockwise or counterclockwise if you want. I've been doing these for the past couple weeks, just shaking the neck around. Now, I'm not telling you to shake your head where you're going to get, you know, shaking, where you're going to get vertigo or anything like that, but I just want you to shake the head around a little bit. Just keep moving. Nothing too crazy. Try to get as many new patterns as you can to the neck without hurting you. So now we're going to move on left to right. So find a spot in your wall to the left, spot a spot, find a spot in your wall to the right. Look left, look right, and just keep on going back and forth, just like so. Find that spot and look back to it. Find the spot, look back to it. Just like so. It doesn't have to be any harder than you want it to be. The whole goal is finding that spot over and over again, right? Now we're going to look down, look up. I just swallowed there. My apologies. Look, look up, look down. F same thing. Look, find a spot like, in between your ankles. Look at that spot. You look up. Or even look at your ankle bones. Think about looking at the spot and then looking back up. Be in the spot, looking back up. Now, we do some arm circles here, but we're gonna do them nice and big and slow like this. We are gonna be doing arm circles in the warm up to, in the workout today, so I want you guys to do this nice and slow, get the arms nice and warmed up, unless you would rather do them a little bit faster. If you feel like that warms you up a little bit better, then go right ahead, I'm not gonna tell you not to. Remember, you guys, we are the buffet of movement and exercise. You get to pick what you want. We give you the options, you get to pick. Do little ones, just like so, really warm up those shoulders. Now for the last about 50 seconds here, we're gonna do leg, sorry, I messed that up. We're gonna do leg extensions, half leg, if it's half leg extensions, but we're gonna bring the knee, kind of like you're doing butt kicks in place, bring that heel up to your butt, heel up to the butt, getting a little, little nice of a stretch on that quads, on the quadriceps in the front. Keep on trying to kick that butt like so. Keep on doing that. All right, I'm going to get started on the first exercise. So instead of just reaching to the ground today, we're going to switch it up just a little bit. If you want to continue to do the good old-fashioned hands pushing down, reach to the ground, you, you are more than welcome. So now we're going to do a staggered stance. Reach to the ground like so. Switch. Reach to the ground like so. And, and we're just going to keep on doing that, or we can do the glute bridge. Either one, we're starting here in three, two, one, and begin. So... Staggered stance, kind of like when we were boxing last week. We had that staggered stance. So now we're going to reach down like so. Except you're not going to come top heavy like this. You're going to try to like sink back into your hips. Pick it up. Switch positions. Put it down. Just like so. Pick it up. Switch positions. Put it down. Just like so. If you really don't feel like that's, that's, that's right for you, then we can do the single leg. Pick up like so. And just like that. And we are done. There we go. Okay, so that was the first set, or first exercise. We are now going to move on. So remember, like I said, it's 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of less rest. So we're giving you a little less of the work, a little more rest because we are going to deload you. This is a deload week. Every three or four weeks, we give you a deload week to kind of let your body acclimate to these movements in the duration of the exercise that we're, that we're doing. So next one, bent over position, hands overhead, pull the arms down just like so, starting in three, two, one. And begin. So remember, from this bent over position like so, 
I'm gonna pull the elbows down, kind of like you're you want to reach, pretend like you're reaching. For me, it's to the, the the window over there. So I'm reaching to the window, reaching to the window, bringing your arms back down. And if this gets a little toy in your lower back or your quads, you can always put one hand on your knee and keep on bringing the arm back just like so. Remember, this is about cardio, keeping keeping the body moving. Stop it in three, two, one, and cut. What I mean by that is you want to, even if you can't do uh, both arms, you still want to keep the body moving, keep the heart rate up, keep your cardiovascular system being worked. We want to we work the cardiovascular system, get you some good I don't know, cardio gains, so to speak, keep that heart rate up, get all those happy blood chemicals, happy brain chemicals going to your blood, because that's the whole point of this, of this, uh, this program. So next, we're doing arm circles, but we're going to do them nice and slow and controlled, starting in three, two, one, and begin. So... We all want nice big guys just like this. You can do them nice and slow, like so, or you can kind of bring your arms a little farther out, do them a little faster, like I am right now. And then after about 15 seconds, so right now, we're going to switch the way we're going. So if you were just going clockwise, we're now going counterclockwise. So bring those hands all the way down, like so. I just want some good shoulder range of motion. Stop it here in three, two, one, and cut it. All right, this next one we got is a little more difficult. So we got some new movements for you today, like those overhead pull downs. I haven't done those in a while, or the arm circles. Same things with those. But now we have a march variation. So one, two, three bursts. So you're gonna start with this leg up. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You're gonna hold it for a second. One, two, three. Just like that. One, two, three. But if you don't feel comfortable doing that, we can do the same old-fashioned march variations. Either way, we're starting in three, two, one, and begin. So starting. One leg up, one, two, three, one, two, three, just like that. If you want to get really, you know, at quote unquote athletic with it, you can get your arms pumping in there. But all it has to be is one, two, three, one, two, three, just like that. So that's all you have to do. Or you can do different marching variations if you're not comfortable going lateral like that. So bring the knees to the hands or hold and hold. Stop it in three, two, one, and three. All right, see, I know that one's going to be a little tough. So, like I said, there are different variations that we're giving you. So, I'm going to grab a chair real quick here to demonstrate the squats because I do feel like this is the best way to show you guys how to actually squat. Because squatting is just sitting down in a chair and standing back up, and you guys can't see my head. My, all right, I'm trying to make that work. So, starting in three, two, one, we're just sitting down. Stand back up. Sitting down, stand back up. Bring this over here just a tad so you can see my face a little better. Sitting down, stand back up. Sit down, stand up. Remember, if you guys can't go down all the way, that is A okay. I don't want you guys to feel discouraged because you can only go down to right here. If you can only go down to right there, that's okay. We're just going to work within that range of motion to improve that range of motion. A couple more here, guys. We have about five seconds left. Come on. Work with me. Stop in three, two, one and cut it. There we go. Now these two, the squats and the press, those will never leave our program. Those are the most consistent things that we do. Uh, those are the two things, that, oh, that and the reach to the ground. Constantly we'll do those. So those are fundamental movement patterns, just like everything else. But we think these are very important ones for everyday life as far as transferability. So now, from the kneeling position, come down for three seconds, push away, starting in three, two, one, and begin. So, knees on the ground like so, coming down. Make sure your, your hands are fully spread apart. So you can put all your weight under those fingers. Come down one, two, three, and back up. One, two, three, and back up. If that doesn't work, we can just, on the ground like this, press into the ground, lift your body off the, inch, off the ground by an inch for as long as you can, then collapse, and keep on doing it if the full push-ups are not working for you. Stop it in three, two, one, and cut it. There we go. And remember, you, it doesn't, I'm really cutting my head off today. It doesn't matter what your range of motion is right now. Like I've said, uh, we will improve upon that range of motion. So if you guys can only do push ups from your knees, or if you can only do uh, just the holding push up, not even the, the full push up, that's okay. Work with us, we will work with you to make you better. So bent over shoulder presses in two. One, 
and begin. And bent over shoulder extensions. These are one of the fan favorites. So we're going to switch it up just a little bit. We're going to bring the hands, palms to the ceiling. Now we're going to rotate the shoulders, thumbs to the ceiling. Palms to the ceiling, thumbs to the ceiling. Palms, and then thumbs, and then palms, and then thumbs, just like so. Palms and thumbs. Same thing if you're getting fatigued in the lower back. Put one hand on the knee and just work with the other. Stop it in three, two, one, and cut it. There we go. All right, these next ones are also a throwback. I haven't done these in a long time, but what we're going to be doing, call, I call them apple reaches. You can call them opposite arm, opposite leg reaches, whichever one. You know, we're telling you got an apple up on the top over here, right? You're going to reach it, reach it, reach it, reach it, grab it, come back down. Reach, 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 grab that apple as far as you can, come back down. Reach, 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 come back down, starting in three, two, one, and begin. So go up and reach for that apple. Go reach for it. Good. Come back down. And go back up. Trust yourself as much as you feel pot as feel comfortable doing. You can also do this near a wall, like I am. So say say you feel like you might fall, you can just come back to the wall, or you can do it with the wall behind you, so you can you can kind of fall into the wall, so to speak. But keep on reaching for that apple. Reach for it. Come back down. Stop it in three, two, one, and done. There we go, guys. I'm not liking this camera angle still. Really not working for me. I'm trying to adjust this so you guys can see me. I know I got snug in there somewhere. So, snug, let me know if that camera angle is working for you, homie. I know you're out there and you're, you're always watching my stream. I know you're out there. All right, moving back to the top, all the way to the top. Now, the staggered stance, reaching to the ground. Remember, you can do the bridges or you can do the bilateral uh, reaching to the ground. Starting in three, two, one. And begin. So remember, you can do the good old fashioned reach to the ground, pick it back up, just like so. Or now we can do the staggered reach to the ground, pick it back up. So now switch legs, reach down. You should almost feel like a hamstring stretch, so to speak, but instead, it's not necessarily a stretch. What well, is a stretch, but uh, it, is, it is part of the exercise where you should be feeling that burn as well. Stop in three, two, one. And cut it. And these are new movements for me as well. I've done them before, but not on stream yet, especially the staggered and the burst. So I do apologize if I mess them up a little bit. I'm going to try my hardest not to because, like I said, this is about you guys. I want to make this the best quality it can be for you behind the screen there. Oof. Yeah, today's going to be a doozy. It's like 91 out here. It is hot. Starting overhead pull downs in two, one. And begin. So bend over just like so. Hands, uh, elbows basically even with your head like so. And you're just going to pull them down like this. Go at whatever pace is most comfortable for you. And if you guys feel like you can go faster like this, it's just going to increase your heart rate, make you sweat a little more, especially if you're in somewhere that's hot like I am. But you'll still get the burn and the whole uh, purpose of the movement by going slower if you want. Stop it in three, two, one and cut it. I'm not very on point with claps today. I'm uh, I'm trying. I'll get better at it. Don't worry. <laughs> Remember for the arm circles when we're doing them next, nice and controlled, just like so. Come back, nice and controlled, just like so. And if anyone's out there, I know there are a couple people out there right now watching. Hit me in the chat. Let's talk. What are you guys doing on this beautiful Monday afternoon? What do you got planned for the Fourth of July? I know I'm a little early, but. <laughs> All right, starting with those arm circles right now. So bring the arms up. And like I know I call this an aerobic uh, exercise program because it is in nature. But these are something that we kind of prioritize the range of motion over the aerobic uh, endurance. I'd rather have you guys, I know we're going to switch. I'd rather have you guys have really good control over your shoulder blades and your, your not shoulder blades, your arms and your shoulders than, uh, than kind of beat you up during this third exercise. So keep going here, guys. Stop it in three. Two, one, and cut it. There we go. I was right on time with that clap that time. <laughs> and it gives you kind of a little break because I know this isn't the hardest exercise set that, or uh, hardest exercises that we've done for uh, in this 12 weeks. But like I said, this is a deload week. So we're trying to give you a little bit of a break this week. So remember, next one we got, starting with the opposite leg. So whichever way you're going, opposite leg up. One, two, three. One, two, three, starting in three. Two, one, 
and begin. So from here, one, two, three. One, two, three. Just like that. Don't fall like I almost just did. One, two, three. One, two, three. And if you want to pick up the speed, you can. You can go nice and quick. If you want to, you can just go regular or slower pace like this. It's whatever feels best for you. Or like I said, if you don't like doing those, you can just do the high knees and the marches just like this. Stop it in three, two, one, and cut it. Excuse me. You guys ever eat a burger in like the beginning of your day? Like, uh, it doesn't sound good, but I had a burger earlier at like one o'clock. That's all I had today. That put me in the dirt for a while. I've been, I've been coming up the whole time. So I apologize. And uh, note to self, note to you guys, don't eat a burger before you have to go on stream. It's not a good idea. So I went to squats in three, two, one, and begin. So remember, cheat code. Grab a chair, sit down in it, stand back up. Don't go all the way down like this. Don't get comfortable. Just touch the chair and come back up. Let your butt touch and come back up. Let the butt touch and come back up, just like so. Just keep on touching, come back up. And if you can't get that range of motion, grab, put a pillow under there, touch the pillow, come back up. Stop it in two, one, and cut. There we go. I hope that made sense. The pillow, a little verse there. Uh, if you don't have that range of motion and you feel like you can't get all the way down, put a pillow there and just focus on touching the pillow, standing back up. Touching the pillow, standing back up. All right, next one we got, going back to the wall floor presses. So remember, if you don't like to get on the ground, you're not comfortable doing the press, we can do it from the wall like so. Coming down one, two, three, push it away, or from incline surface. Starting in two, one, and begin. So we're gonna come down to the knees like so. Hands under your chest. Spread those fingers out nice and wide. Come down one, two, three, and push. One, two, Three, and push. If the knees are too easy but the legs fully extended are a little bit too hard, we can do two of, one of two things. Come down for a three second, then hold for a second, then push. Or we can come down on the feet extended like this and then go to the knees and push. Stopping right now. There we go. Good job, guys. I know those push-ups can be a pain in the butt, but they are a really good fundamental movement for you. And we're going to keep putting those in there because, like I said, that's a fundamental movement pattern. And I'm not even good at them, so if, if I'm getting better, I know you guys are getting better. So that's all that matters. So, bent over shoulder extensions again. Like I said, you guys have seen these before. You'll see them again in the future weeks. We really love this because it's a good full shoulder uh, range of motion. Starting in three, two, one, and begin. So bent over position. Palms to the sky. Rotate the hands, thumbs to the sky. Palms to the sky. Rotate the hands, thumbs to the sky. Hold it for a second if you want. And your, your stance can be as wide as you want, whatever feels best for you. If you want your legs all the way out here when you're doing it, then that's A-OK. -okay. I know my battery's almost dead. So yeah, 20%. Come on, last me the rest of the stream. Come on, baby. All right, stop it in three, two, one, and cut it. There we go. We are already almost through the second set. I think these 30-second sets uh, feel a lot shorter than those 40 seconds. I do not feel as tired as last week, that's for sure. But, as I said, this is a deload week, so that's why we're not feeling as tired, because we, we programmed this for this reason, so we give you a kind of a break week this week. So, remember, grab that apple, grab that apple, just like so, starting in two, one, and begin. So, go up, grab the apple. The whole point of this is you're controlling your core and your shoulder, you're controlling your whole body uh, through, through the movement, but the whole point of it is to try to be able to control the reach, not just, because that, as you can see, there's no, I don't have any control there. So, you're gonna come up slowly, grab the apple, come back down. Come up slowly, grab the apple, and come back down. Got three more seconds here, guys. Come on, power through, and we are done. There we go. Oh, wrong light. So I need a little bit dark in here. Still want you guys to see my beautiful face, so I'll turn on the light for you. I'm really looking forward to this commercial that we're doing. Uh, me, and my, me and the partners. I really hope you guys like it once it's done. We have a one of our friends who has a high quality. Um, he's a high quality photographer, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what this uh, commercial comes out to be. We'll make sure to keep you guys in the loop once it's done. All right, 
reach to the ground starting now. So remember, grab that pillow, staggered stance, come down, pick it up, put it back down, switch sides, come down, pick it up, put it back down, switch sides. And as you see, I'm still doing the same position as if I was doing the bent over like so, except now all I'm doing is different is putting one foot out in front, still bending down the same way, picking it up, putting it back down, switching legs, stopping in two, one, and done. There we go. Also, you've already made it through two sets. Give yourself two micro pats in the back, the big pats in the back. Come at the end when we are done with the whole program, because that means you made it through. Also, as always, I've got a nice pull for you at the end, so stick around. You're not going to want to miss it. I think i got a good one for you today. So I'm really looking forward to it, guys. All right, moving on here, back to the overhead pull down. So same thing as the, the, the bilateral, the two leg reach to the ground, starting in two, one, and begin. Get yourself aligned in a nice, good position like this, and then put the hands overhead and pull, pull down. Pretend like you're uh, trying to think of a good analogy for this. No, you're not going to reach for an apple because you're already doing that. Um, kind of pretend like if you guys have ever done the lap machine, you're kind of doing the same thing, just pulling down. But you don't really need to think about that. All you need to think about is extending the arms as far out as you can and then pulling them back. Extend them out, pull them back, just like so. Stop it in three, two, one, and cut it. There we go. Good job, guys. I know you guys are working hard even though it's brutally hot today. I know you're working hard, though, because our little community here is a bunch of hard workers, and that's what I'm proud of. I'm proud of the community that we're growing. I'm proud of you guys being here for yourselves and for us, so we really appreciate it. Oof. Oof. Excuse me. All right. Back to the arm circle, starting in three, two, one, and begin. So remember, nice and controlled, all the way to the ceiling, all the way to the ground. All the way to the ceiling, all the way to the ground, just like so. One way is going to be harder than the other, whether it's forward, like I'm going right now, or backwards. Speaking of backwards, you're going to switch. One way is always going to be a little bit harder. Just think about trying to touch the ceiling and then touch the floor. If, you, if your hands need to rotate, that's okay. Whatever feels the best for you. Stop it in three, two, one, and cut it. There we go. All right, back to those bursts. All my athletes out there, where you at? Getting those quick high, high knee steps in, those quick bursts. Remember, you don't have to incorporate the arms, but your body works in uh, disynaptical um, inhibition. Is that, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Yeah, opposites. Your body likes opposites. That's why we walk opposite arm, opposite leg. That's why we do sprints and marches opposite arm, opposite leg. So starting in three, two, one, and begin. So one, two, three. You see how I'm opposite arm, opposite leg now? So one, two, three. One, two, three, just like that, just like that. One, two, three, and you can slow it down a little bit too if you want. You get a little bit more bounce out of it. You feel a little bit more in your legs, but either way, even if you do it quick ooh, or slow, you're still gonna feel it. Remember, hold that for a second there. Stop it in three, two, one, and cut. Bang, got that one on point today, baby. All right, back to one of the two steak and potatoes of this workout, i.e. the squats. El Squatitos. I don't think that's how you pronounce it, but that's okay. All we're doing is sitting down in the chair, standing back up. So sitting down, standing up. Now I can demonstrate what I meant with that pillow. We're starting here in three, two, one, and begin. So. Touch the pillow, come back up. This is what I mean by quarter of the range of motion. If you don't feel comfortable going all the way down, like so, and back up, put the pillow there, use it as a marker. Just think consciously, all right, I just need to sit, I need to touch the pillow, come back up. Touch the pillow, come back up. Touch the pillow, come back up. Or if you are able to do the full, the full squat, touch the, touch the chair, come back up. Touch the chair, come back up. Stop it in two, one, and cut. There we go. And if we're not giving you a if we're giving mod blah, 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 blah. if we are giving modifications that are not working, please reach out to us on the on the chat or on our social media. Also, if you are watching this on a restream and you have questions and we are not here to answer them, please reach out to us on our social medias or you can email us at cchs uh, or connectedchs30 at gmail.com. Push up starting in three, 
two, one, and begin. So knees on the ground like so, hands about shoulder width apart. Remember, coming down one, two, three, and back up. One, two, three, and back up. One, two, three, back up. Now we're going to go feet fully extended. So we're going to come down one, two, three. Go to the knees and press back up. One, two, three. Go to the knees and press back up. Last one here. One, two, three. And press and done. There we go. And remember, you can do those incline position or on the wall. Whichever one works better for you guys. Do the bent over shoulder extensions next. We're almost done with the third set. So if you guys would like to stick around for the second of the of the two third sets, so the last three sets, you're more than welcome. If not, you guys can skedaddle after these next two exercises. Start with the bent over right now. Perfect. So bent over like this. Palms to the sky. Thumbs to the sky. Palms to the sky. Thumbs to the sky. Palms and thumbs and palms and thumbs, just like so. Palms and thumbs. Nice and controlled. Remember, this is a deload week, so you don't have to go. We're not trying to kill you today. We're just trying to get some good quality movement. And stop it in three, two, one, and cut it. Good job. There we go, boys, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. Don't want to just say one gender because I know all you guys are out there watching this. So remember, going back to the apple reaches. The whole point that I'm saying apple reaches, I'm trying to get you out of your head because. Uh, as as humans, we like to make things complicated. We like to think, oh, I gotta squeeze my glue. I gotta extend my lat. No, you, all you have to do is reach for the apple. So do that. Starting in three, two, one, and begin. So reach up, reach up, reach up. Grab it. Come back down. Reach up, reach up, reach up. Grab it. Come back down. Remember, this is all about single leg stability. Being able to reach away from your body and still control that balance. Reach up, reach up, reach up. If you and if these don't aren't working for you, you can always do these, like so, just opposite arm reaches like that. But we recommend trying to do the reach to the apple, like so. Stopping in two, one, and cut it. There we go. That's funny. I was watching Jake stream a little bit today. He was talking about how much we've evolved over the over the three months from our first stream to now, and I agree with him. I don't know if I'd want to see what I looked like on my first stream. I was. I was skittish. I was not uh, not myself. I was not talking like I usually do. So I've came a long way, and I hope that you guys have grown with us because it's really it's really nice to see on both ends. All right, start reaching to the ground in two, one, and begin. So staggered stance, coming down, picking it up, putting it back down, switching legs, coming down, picking it up, putting it back down, switching legs. Remember, you can do this bilateral, like so. Or we can, I haven't done these yet, my apologies. We can do the bridges like so. Just gonna straight line between the armpits and the knees at the top. So you're just pressing with your feet, stopping in three, two, one, and cut it. There we go. Like I said, there's a lot of new movements today. Also, we are starting the third set. So, er, yes, yes. I think so? Yes. No, 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 we just finished the third set. So you guys want to leave. If, you're, if you do not want to do the last three sets, it's okay. Thank you for joining us. We will see you on Wednesday with the same video because we have other business stuff to do, unfortunately. Overhead pull down, starting in two, one, and begin. So just extend the arms over top, pull them down, just like so. I don't know if there's any drummers out there, but I was playing my kit today and we went with one of my good friends. I was having a great time. If you guys have any song suggestions that I should try to learn, please let me know because playing my drums is one of my favorite, not only workouts, but favorite hobbies that I have to do. All right, stop it here in three, two, one, and cut it. Oh, a second. Oh, that's okay. And the drums, that's why I talk about rhythm all the time. I know whenever we're doing the ITYs, talk about rhythm and coordinating. I think that's partially why I'm so huge on rhythm because playing the drums is all about having rhythm, as you can probably tell, even if you never played the drums. It's all about having that rhythm in your in your blood. It's not just a it's not just a brain thing, in my opinion. You gotta have the rhythm in your blood. You gotta feel the music. So, if you guys have any good songs, suggestions you want me to learn? Hit me in the chat. I'd love to hear it. Arm circles in three, 
two, one, and begin. We're going to go whichever way you ended with last time, we're going to start with that way. So if you went clockwise the first time, then we're going to start with that. If you went counterclockwise, then we're going to start with that. Just keep on rotating here. Keep on getting those hands to this guy. Now we're going to switch just like so. You can keep the thumbs towards the sky the whole time if you want, or you can put the palms down. Whatever feels better for you guys. Your stance only matters if you want it to. Stop it in three, two, one, and cut it. What I mean by that is if it's not comfortable, if your feet are too far in, spread them out. Try, try some different positions. You know, like try feet way far out. Try them way, way far out. Try them in. Or you get fancy, you can do single leg. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can try it. Like I said, we got the options for you. It's whatever you want to pick, guys. Oof. Excuse me. Oh, my mom would be proud. I keep on excusing myself. Using my manners. All right, in the, with the march variation starting now. So, knee up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Remember, you can do these at faster pace if you want, or just a regular, or not regular, a nice slower pace. Remember, deload me, not trying to kill you. Also, I can't tell you how excited I am for this little get together with. CCHS group. I haven't seen all, all two of them, so all three of us in a long time. Stop it in three, two, one, and cut it. It's five ever since we've been at school, since we've all been together. And every time we get together, it's an amazing little think tank we got going on here. I mean, it's those guys truly are my best friends. So I'm really looking forward to seeing them. And we're going to get some really good content put together for you guys. Not just the commercial, social media posts. We're going to do some marketing, some good old fashioned. Knocking on the door, giving people business cards, trying to get our name out there. But right now we're doing squats. Starting in three, two, one, and begin. This time I'm gonna look right in the face and do these. Come down, touch it, touch the touch the chair, come back up, touch the chair, come back up, just like so. Keep on touching that chair. Just bounce the butt off it real quick, come back up. Touch it and back up. And touch it and back up. Just like so. Keep going here, guys. If you're really feeling like a savage today, come down all the way, jump squat. Hold that landing nice and quiet. Stop it in three, two, one, cut it. There we go. I always say um, on the jump squats, try to land like you're sneaking into the house when you were uh, still in high school. Not like we any of us did that, but like you were sneaking into the house. Try to be real quiet with that landing. All right, moving on here to the presses. Remember, you can do this from the wall or an incline position. I'm going to do it from the knees to show you guys here, starting in three, two, one, and begin. So come down. One, two, three. Pull it for a second and push. Remember, if you can't, if you can't do that or the leg fully extended, you're going to come down, get your chest on the ground, face off the ground, hold this off the ground for about an inch or one inch off the ground for about two or three seconds. Then collapse, then do it again. Hold it, hold it, hold it, and try to press up if you can. If not, just hold that there. You're still getting the same benefits of this exercise. So last one here, guys. Push up and done. There we are. Good job. Keep powering through here with me, guys. I know you, I know you can do it. I can do it, you can do it, we can all do it. You know, one one of the things I'm really thankful for. Is that I get to do this every week with you guys, regardless of anything else I have going on. You guys kind of lightens my mood, makes me happier, it makes me healthier, makes you healthier. Oh, well, I keep talking. Start with the shoulder extension. Three, two, one, and begin. Sorry, I know I, I know I talk a lot, guys, but sometimes I just like to let you know how much I love you, how much I love doing this. Because we ain't, we're not getting paid to do this. We do this for free because we really do love doing this for you guys. And if you know anyone who would benefit from a program like this, or you think would want to do a program like this, please send them, send us their way, send them us, send them our way, whichever way you send them, make sure that they, they know what we're doing. And we are done with those. Good job. Good job, good job. Because the whole name of this game is trying to just increase our outreach, get it to more people so there's more communities that have community members that are healthier and happier by doing this program. Because we've already had some testimonials, people have lost up to 15 pounds in these 12 weeks doing this program. So the proof is in the pudding, so to speak. So if you know anyone, please reach out to them. Let them know what we're doing. 
So I'm with the apple reach in three, two, one. And again, I know I did three and put two fingers up. I know. Current Central School District educated here. So thank, thank all them for teaching me how to, how to, how to, uh, how to count. Just kidding. I can't, I can't blame that. No, I'm just kidding. Reach to that apple. We still got about 10 seconds. Keep reaching to that apple. And reach, 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 reach. Grab it. Good. Last one here. Come on, guys. Reach up, reach up, reach up, reach up. And we are done. There we go. All right, that's four sets down. If I can count right. I think I can count right. Can I count right? I can count right. There we go. Never mind. I take that back, Corinth. My apologies. Like I said, I know it's on me. All right, so remember, we can do the stagger. And all the stagger is, you can think of it the same way, where you're bending down like that. So I know I always give you guys the cue of hips to knees. You can still do that in the staggered stance. Starting in three, two, one, and begin. So push down like so. Oopsies. Reach down, grab the pillow, pick it up, put it back down, switch sides, reach down, grab the pillow, pick it up, put it back down, just like so. Switch sides. I'm gonna challenge you guys on the last on the last set to do the bridge with me because I know the bridge is a little bit harder. Down. All right, we guys got three more seconds here. Last one, two, one, and cut it. There we go. Good job, guys. Good, good job. All right, back to the top. That is the fourth set we just went through. So we got two more. Then we are finito, done for the day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Go grab some Chipotle. I think I'm fine. I'm a rapper or something. I think. Maybe in another life. Definitely not this life. I'm a I'm an exercise instructor in this life. Maybe a rapper in another life. I don't know. Multiple dimensions theory. Just kidding. All right, moving on. Overhead press in two, one, and begin. Bend over position. Sorry, overhead pull down. So pull those arms down. It's okay if your body sways a little bit like this. That's totally fine. That's just your center of mass trying to find itself pretty much. You keep on changing the center of mass as you're extending your arms overhead like so. So remember, just pull down, pull down, pull down, just like so. Stop in three, two, one, and cut it. Ah, second row, that's okay. Ah, no worries, no worries. Don't worry about it, Frankie. I don't know why that's my first accent when I started doing a Jersey Boy accent. The first time I think it was Frankie, but Frank. Anyone that works at Rocco's knows, knows what I'm talking about, Mr. Frank. The old OG there. All right, moving on. Not talking about Rocco's, talking about those arm circles. And this cat hair flying all over me. Starting in three, two, one, and begin. So we're gonna go nice and slow, just like this. Full range of motion here. Trying to reach all the way up, come down, reach all the way up, come down. Now we're gonna switch sides, reach all the way up. Now on the way back, because of the way your shoulders are designed, your arms, as you see my hands, I, it's harder to keep your hands straight in and come back because. Your arm doesn't come straight back like that, so you're going to have to rotate it a little bit. You're going to have to rotate. Oh, whoopsies, my apologies. We stopped there. My apologies. Got a text message. I got to turn that sound way down. All right, one second. There we go. So my apologies, guys. All right. So next one, we're on to the burst, the one, two, three burst. So... I want you guys to go as fast as is controllable and, and comfortable for you guys. Starting in three, two, one, and begin. So just like that, just like that, just like that. Whoop, don't fall. Hold that for a second. I wasn't holding it for long enough. Hold. Bring that knee as high up as you can. Arm as high up as you can. Just like that. Whoop, don't fall like I am. Remember, you, if you can go nice and slow like this if you want, whatever is most comfortable for you. Stop it in three, two, one, and cut it. There we go, guys. All right. Also, for anyone new that's joining us, we have quotes of the day at the end of each workout. This is something that we want you guys to be interactive with, we want you to be a part of. So if you guys have any quotes that you think are motivational, you think that's, that's suiting to what we're doing, hit them in the chat. I'll say them at the end of the at the end of the session, you guys can be a part of this session with us. You guys have a voice in this community, so to speak. 
All right, going to the squat, starting here in three, two, one, and begin. So I know I've been telling you guys to do it with the chair, but I just want to show you the difference between the, the squat. So this is me sitting down in the chair, standing back up like so, and this is me without the chair as a reference, still thinking that I need to sit in the chair and stand back up. It's almost the same exact form. Anatomically, it is the same exact thing. Come down, come back up. Come down. Oh, I got a chat. Let's go, baby. Start in three, two, one, and cut it. Is that my dude? Hey. Oh, I didn't even see someone else uh, joined in. Whatever, but guess if it's not too much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Forth. I, I know you can see that there's another person here. I did not see your comment at first, my friend. I'm sorry. I can't even read it. Um, I noticed. Recommend, so I am. I apologize. I right, start with those push-ups right now, guys. Thank you for covering that for me, Forth. I did not get that message on my side chat bar. It's really hard for me to see uh, on the screen. So, yes, Forth should be a part of CCHS at this point. You got that script down pat, my friend. So, Right now we're doing the presses, so keep on doing those. But this is a 30, this is a 52-week program. So we're on week number 12, day 34. If you look us up on Facebook or YouTube or Twitch, you can go back to catch the days. All right, and stop with the presses, guys. You can go back to catch all of the uh, previous workouts that we did on those pages. So you can start from week one, week two, week three, week four, and you know any week you want. All of the durations of the exercises are different. So some of them are 30 minute exercises with 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, or 20 seconds of work, 40 seconds of rest, uh, just depending on whatever week that you choose. All right, we're starting here with the bent over shoulder extensions in three, two, one, and begin. So like Forth said, I would recommend probably going back to, depending on what your fitness level is, I recommend probably going back to like uh, maybe the first four weeks, you know, do, do week number one, do week two, see how that feels. And then if that feels a little too light, jump a couple weeks, but every fourth week. Uh, so this week included is a deload week. So this is one of the lighter weeks. This is a full, I'm stopping in three, two, one, and cut it. So this week we're deloading. And what I mean by that is this last week we had 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We have six sets uh, now because we're doing hour-long sessions. So because it's 40-20 last week, this is the fourth week, one of the fourth weeks, the 12th week, technically the fourth week, if you look at it from like a phasing uh, perspective. Um, so now that it's the fourth week, we're deloading to 30 seconds of rest, 30 seconds of work again. Next week, we will amp it back up. And if you join us again, you'll find out some more about it. I'd love to talk with you. But now we're doing the reaching, reach for that apple, oh, go grab the apple and come back down. And fourth, honestly, man, if you know any, anyone over in London uh, that needs any of this, please, you know, um, not send our name, but spread our name to people because we love doing this. Like I said prior, we love doing this. And this is really one of the only things that I look forward to every single day aside from training people. So I'd love to be able to contact and chat with more people like I am right now. And we are done with those. Good job. But hey, great question. Sorry I didn't catch you in the chat immediately. My eyes, I'm not going to lie, I should have glasses on at all times. So when I saw Ford's big message pop up, I caught it, but I did not catch you at the first time. Mr. What is your name? Boston Mark. So I hope that hope you stuck around, man. I hope you followed. Give us a share. Give us a like. If not, I'll see you on Wednesday. All right. Starting with the staggered reach to the ground right now. Perfect. So I see the comment. I'll get to you in one second. So just reach down. Pick it up just like so, put it back down. And remember, there are a couple different ways that we can do this. Pick it up, put it back down. We can do it bilateral, like so. And also, you'll you'll come to find out that all three of us have a little bit of a different personality. I am kind of the, the not the motor head, but the motor mouth. I'm just always talking. Stop it in three, two, one, and cut it. I'm always talking sometimes. I talk a little too much, so I do apologize for that. But uh, Seth is definitely one of the, the, the jokester of us. He talks just as much as me, but he's a jokester. you got to go check him out. Jacob is down to the science. The man has, the man always has a plan. He's always talking science, so you want to go check him out at 12 o'clock or Seth at 7.30. You'll get a good quality workout from any one of us. I promise you that. Okay, 
Starting with those overhead pull downs in three, two, one, and begin to reach the ground. And we're just going to pull the arms down just like so. Right, let me check what that says. Hey, not a problem, brother man. Um, that's what we're here for. We're here because we're, here we're trying to create a community. And regardless of where you are, like I know Fourth's over in London. We got some people from Nova Scotia. I know we got some people from the West Coast in, in the U.S. So we're no matter, stopping in three, two, one, and cut it. So no matter where you are, we're trying to build a community here because that's the cool thing about the uh, uh, Twitch and streaming is that we can stream with someone who's seven hours away by, by a flight. You know, they're 4,000 miles away and we're still streaming. We're still getting that con uh, connection with you guys. We're still creating that community. So thank you for coming in, man. I'm really glad that uh, that you're here. And also, fourth, again, thank you for being the spokesman for me right there. I didn't catch that chat. I appreciate it, brother. All right, start with the arm circles and begin. And as I've said before, uh, this is kind of like an aerobic program. So the whole point is we're trying to keep the heart rate up because that's the best way to burn fat, uh, gain muscle as well. It's just keeping that heart rate up constantly. It's almost like a, you've heard of like high intensity interval training. It's very similar to that, except the intensity isn't too, too high. There are times where we have really high intensities that like we've done 50 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. Stop it in three, two, one, and cut it. So we do have those weeks, but uh, th that was week eight or nine or nine or 10, I can't remember. And then we kind of deload from that. No, it was definitely seven and eight, not eight and nine. So then we deloaded from there. We will get back up to it, but this is a 52 week program that uh, Seth Spicer has made for us that we all kind of chip in now together. So it's a really good program. I'm glad you're here, man. Really happy to have you on board. All right, now with those one, two, three bursts. Ready, set, and let me, let me see your athlete in here. Go. Just like that. Hold it for a second. Back up. Come down. You see how I'm kind of wobbling? You don't want to wobble like that. So if you need to, take wider steps. So look at my look at the distance between my legs. So instead of coming down like this where my knees are really close together when I'm making ground contacts, farther apart like so. That'll give you a little bit more stability. So you're not in tight like this when you're doing the one, two, threes. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Stop it in two, one, and cut it. Good job, good job. All right, I, I already forgot. This is the last set. So another thing, good job, everyone who's made it through the first five sets. I'm talking so much today, having such a good time. I forgot it's already been 50 minutes. So moving on here to the squats. Last time we got to do these, I'm sure some of you guys are saying, thank God, I don't want to do squats anymore, but these are the steak and potatoes of this workout. So without further ado, let's get cracking, baby. Starting in three, two, one, and begin. Sit in that chair, stand back up. Sit in the chair. And I say this a lot. You'll, uh, you'll definitely hear me say this multiple times. If you stick around, fourth is probably heard me say this a million times, but your brain wants a goal to coordinate around. So the goal that I'm giving my brain, instead of thinking about muscle activation, like, oh, I need to tighten my glutes and tighten my quads. No, you don't need to do any of that. Just think, touch the chair on my butt, stand up. Touch the chair on my butt, stand up. Stop it in three, two, one, and cut. And that's kind of a shift in paradigm of the way people think about exercise because a lot of the time we like to make things very complicated in this industry of health and fitness and tell people, oh, do you feel that in your chest? Are you, is your chest muscle on? You know, if you're doing push-ups or you feel that in your glutes, you don't need, you, we've evolved over thousands of years to be able to not think about the muscle activation. Because from an evolutionary standpoint, if we have to spend that energy to think about that, that's not good when it comes to hunting. So, all right, starting with those presses right now. So what I, all, all I mean by that, I'm not, you know, disregarding anything about religion. So I don't mean to offend anybody if I am talking about evolution, but your body and brain has evolved to not have to allocate resources, i.e. energy, i.e. calories, to thinking about having conscious attention over muscle, uh, muscle activation through a movement pattern. So when I'm doing this press right now, I don't have to think about my triceps pushing and activating, and we are done. But I don't have to think about my triceps pushing me away from the ground. All I have to think about is pushing away from the ground. I don't have to think about the chest muscles and, and squeezing my chest while I'm pushing. You don't have to think about any of that. That is actually could mess up your movement pattern. It's called a constrained action hypothesis where you constrain your natural movement by thinking about one process of the movement instead of the 
goal or the outcome of the movement. I'm going to shut up, bend over shoulder extensions, two, one, and begin. Palms to the sky, thumbs to the sky. And I know today I've been, a, I've been a talkative little Adam, but uh, if you guys aren't talking as much as I am and you're doing the full, uh, the full sets, you will get a really good workout from this, even though it's a deload week. And you can determine the pace, remember that. You can always determine what pace you guys are going at. Whether it's the marching, whether it's these, whether it's reaching to the apple, stop it in three, two, one, and cut it. Whether it's the squats, arm circles, you guys can pick the pace. So remember that uh, we do do this for you guys. And we want to give you the best options that we have. But at the end of the day, you guys feel the sensations in your own body. We all feel that. So <laughs> the, re the only reason I'm saying that is you know what's best for you, not us. So just remember that at the end of the day, whatever feels best for you may not feel best for somebody else. So if you want a different variation, let us know and we'll make sure we get that to you. All right, reach for those apples in two, one, and begin. This is the last one of the day, boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen. So I want you to really focus on reaching for that apple. And like I said, you don't got to think about your muscles stabilizing or nothing. Just reach for that apple, come back down. Reach up for that apple. Oh, reach, 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 reach. Come back down. If you don't like apples, it can be a pear, it can be an orange. Uh, it can't be a potato because they go in the ground, so that doesn't work. But <laughs> any other type of fruit and or vegetable that grows in trees, Stop me right now. There we go. And we made it. Look at that. Six sets done and over with. Now we get to get a nice cool down and fourth. Let's go have some good protein shakes. I know it's just about time for bed over there. So thank you for joining fourth. And thank you for being a little spokesman. You know, once we get community organizers out, out in London, hey, You've been one of the day ones. We might need to have to. We might have to take you off the bench, man. Pick you in the draft first, my friends. All right. Now we're going to the cool down. First thing we are doing: give yourself some nice big hugs, nice big taps on the shoulders, just like so. And if this doesn't feel that great, that is a okay. We can do some shaking like so. I've talked about this before, but there's some really cool research done in the Soviet steroid uh, era the Bulgarian steroid era with lactic acid post-workout post and recovery and shaking, believe it or not, if you guys have like a weight in your house, just doing some, oh, interesting, got here. Hopefully not for me, I hope not being too loud, but uh, just shaking your arms with a weight in them uh, elicits some really good blood flow uh, into, into the parts of the body that you just work really hard, so your arms, and we'll do it with the legs in a second, but right now just the arms. So you can just shake them out like this, I know it seems really silly, but guess what? No one can see you. You guys can only see me. That's part of the reason why we do this. No stigmas. You guys can judge me all you want, but there's no one judging you, and that's the whole point of doing this. Keep shaking those arms a little bit. Just like so. All right, now we're going to kick the legs out. Kick the legs out. And I do have a quote, so don't miss that. Once I'm done with the, with the cool down, um, once you guys are breathing, I'm going to give you the quote, okay? So keep – pretend like you just stepped in a big puddle – I know 4th is over there in London, and even Boston sometimes. You guys get a lot of rain, so pretend like you just stepped in the puddle, and I got to shake off all that water. All that water, all that water. Shake it off, shake it off, baby. Shake it off, shake it off. Just like so. And we can do little leg swings if you'd like. Just make sure you're not compromising that lower back. You're not arching like this. So you're just keeping it nice and straight, swinging the leg. I'm going to switch sides. If you want, we can do what we did for the warm-up and the cool-down. We can do just bring the, the heels to your butt, just like so. Nice little cool-down drills where you can just shake the legs, try to shake them in, like, weird positions, get some new sensation. I'm the sensation and the sensory guy because I love, I love the idea that, uh, that depending on what sensory system you're predominantly using, uh, depend, it, it, it kind of – uh, determines what motor programming or not motor programming, what movement solutions you have to achieve the task. So what I mean by that is like, say for this, I'm focusing on just my feeling. But now if I close my eyes, I'm taking away the sensation of obviously vision. So now my other two, the vestibular, so your balance and your proprioceptive, so the way you feel things is now taking over and it kind of changes the way you move a little bit. So that's kind of my jam, but I'm talking too much now. 
My favorite part of the cool down, we're gonna do some breathing, right? So we're gonna go big in the nose, exhale through the mouth. I'm gonna try to inhale for about two to four seconds, exhale for about four to eight. So as you guys keep doing that, I want you to remember, this is one of the most important parts of the cool down. Uh, your body needs to be in that rest or digest state to fully recover. What I mean by that is when you're working out, your cortisol levels are high, your stress, your body perceives this as a stressful event, which it kind of is, and it puts you in that sympathetic, that fight or flight state. So now we gotta bring you back down out of that into the, um, the parasympathetic state. So we're now, your body's allowed to get that heart rate down, get the blood pressure down, kind of relax a little bit, allow for that all that good recovery to happen so you get the full benefits of this workout. So keep on breathing. I'm going to grab this quote because I don't have the best memory and I always keep it up on my laptop. Oh boy, where is she? Come on, baby, work with me today. Thank you, Siri. I love it when she tells me that he's completed. She's such a good phone. <laughs> Just one second, guys. I thought I had the, the quote. Apologies, bear with me here. Come on, baby. A laptop must know that I'm on stream and wants to be slow. Yeah, there we go. All right. You will never change your life until you change something you do daily. The secret of your success is found in your daily routine. So I know that it's kind of a lot to unpack, but uh, to, to, to have a, a positive change in your life, you must start with little changes, whether that be, you know, waking up earlier, whether that be uh, not eating, uh, you know, some possible junk food before you go to bed, or whether that be, you know, um, making smarter financial decisions like not going out as much or saving money for the future. Any, any of these goals that you want, any of these, uh, you know, any of these like changes that you want, you need to make it a daily thing. So even, even little things like, uh, like creating a to-do list every day, that'll, that's a really good way to keep yourself on track, keep yourself, um, you know, accountable, so to speak, so that you can put it into your daily routine. So it can be something that is more of a habit. Hey, what's up Goldman? How you doing? Glad you're joining us, man. If you want to catch this uh, that we just finished, unfortunately, but if you want to catch this again, this stream, I will. I do repost uh, this stream from today and then last Friday and Wednesday stream the next couple hours after this. So if you do want to join in on this, I know it's not going to be live, but you can join in and get the same workout that we just did all together. But that whole quote of the day, um, I usually come up with a quote of the day, but if you guys as the audience want to come up with a quote of the day, Please shoot it in the chat, and I will use it as the quote of the day, and then it will get posted onto our Instagram at some point throughout that week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, you, uh, you're, you're, it, it's all right. No worries that you're late. We're, uh, we, we do restreams as well. So Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, we do restreams from – on Twitch, we go from 4 a.m. to 4 a.m. on the next day. So on Tuesday, it starts at 4 a.m., ends at 4 a.m. on Wednesday. So – if you want to join in on the next stream, uh, that will be on Wednesday, but unfortunately, uh, none of the partners, including myself, will be able to actually live stream. I'm going to have to repeat this one because we have other obligations for the business, so I do apologize for that. But with that being said, if you guys don't have any other comments, questions, and concerns, if you have any health-related, fitness-related, exercise-related, uh, mental you know, mental health-related, anything like that, you have any questions you want to ask us or me, uh, you can reach out to us on Connected CHS at Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, uh, YouTube, or you can ask me right now. Either or, I'm more than willing to always have like an open dialogue with you guys because you guys are my family. You're my little community I've built here. So I appreciate you guys coming coming to these streams, and I really love doing this. So thank you for allowing us to, to grow continually. So without further ado, that's all I got for you guys. Remember, you got to make those tiny changes every day to make it a constant routine and or a constant habit in your daily routine. So. With that being said, I'm going to skedaddle. I will catch you guys on Friday, and I will also catch you on the restream on Wednesday. I'm, I'm, I'm finally going to have this mop cut, so I'm not going to look as homeless as I do right now. So, all right, guys, I will catch you later. Thank you for joining in, and I will see you on Friday. Take care. Live happy.